<clears throat> hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for C8H18, which is octane. So here we go. C8H18 is the chemical formula for octane, and that's going to give us um, eight carbons with four valence electrons for each one, plus 18 hydrogens with one valence electron for each of those. It's going to give us a total of 50 valence electrons. All right, and uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, I, I kind of mentioned how all these organic, these uh, alkanes, I'm showing you the straight chain and carbon uh, Lewis dot structure. There might be other ring structures, but I'm just showing you the one general uh, Lewis dot structure. So here we go. Um, hydrogens, they cannot be center atoms because they can, they can only bond once. So that means that the carbons have to be all in the center. So there's eight of those. Let's go ahead and draw those out. Okay, eight carbons, and then we have the 18 hydrogens. So let's go ahead and draw those in. Okay, that's going to be 18 hydrogens, and now each hydrogen can only bond, have one single bond, because they can only hold two electrons. So we're going to go ahead and connect all of these hydrogens to their nearest carbon with just a single bond. Okay, now that everything's connected, we can go ahead and count up the bonds, see how, how many electrons we have to see if this is going to be the correct structure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22. Okay, 25. So 25 bonds times 2 electrons per bond is going to give us 50 electrons, which is what we, what we needed from up here. So, that's, so this should be right. And if you notice, every hydrogen has 2 electrons with a single bond, and every carbon has 4 bonds, which means it has its full octet 8 electrons. So this appears to be the right drawing. So let's go ahead and check the formal charges to verify. Uh, formal charges on the uh, carbon. And notice every carbon in here has four bonds. So that means, and, and, and this, that's all they have. So that means that the formal charge on one carbon is going to be equal to the formal charges on every carbon in this drawing, in this structure. So formal charge is number of valence brought in, which is four, minus number of bonds, one, two, three, four minus number of non-bonding electrons, and there's none of those, so that's zero, and give, that gives us a formal charge of zero overall. Okay, now the uh, formal charge of the hydrogens is uh, one valence brought in, and they all have only one single bond, so that's minus one bond for each one, minus zero non-bonding electrons, and that's going to give us a formal charge of zero as well. So if you sum up all these formal charges, the overall formal charge is going to equal zero, which is what you want when you have a neutrally charged or non-charged um, compound, such, such as octane, which is C8H18. Okay, now we can talk about shape a little bit. Um, if you, you notice that each carbon has four bonding sites, the four bonds, and so that means that uh, each carbon is going to have an sp3 hybridized orbital, orbitals, okay, because there's four, so you have S, P, 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 S, P, 3. And each one of those has four bonding sites, so each one is S, P, 3 hybridized. And that means that each carbon is the center atom for a tetrahedral um, molecule shape. So that means that this octane, C8, H18, is a big chain of tetrahedral shaped molecules that are linked on and on each other moving down the line. And uh, because this is a symmetric uh, molecule, all the H's are opposite each other and, and all the carbons are in a line, they're going to end up canceling each other out in terms of the uh, dipole moment, giving making this molecule a non-polar molecule. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Leave them in the comments. See if you have any uh, special requests. Let me know, I'll try to put them in a video, and thanks for watching.